Sylvester Stallone and an unidentified director are under fire for allegedly disparaging background performers on the Tulsa King set, but a booking manager is standing up for the actor. Tasha Walker Carroll of the Walker Talent Management Group, whose talent Lisa Hopkins was on set of the Paramount Plus series on Tuesday, April 4, exclusively tells Us Weekly, I've heard so much about their time on set. She did not hear any profanity from any of the key cast members or crew, and at no point was my skill made to feel inferior on set. The personnel gave her excellent treatment. Walker Carroll is defending Stallone, 77, after an Atlanta-based casting business backed out of the show following claims made by the Rocky actor and the director that certain supporting players were dubbed Ugly, Tub of Lard, and Fat Guy with Kane. The last of the three insults, according to one actor, hurt his soul. Additionally, it was said that Stallone requested that, pretty young girls to be around me, be brought in for the shoot. Us Weekly has already requested response from Stallone's people. According to a story from Deadline, the accusation started in a closed Facebook group named, Backgrounders, Stories from Set. Over 36,000 people have viewed a screenshot of the Tulsa King claims that was later shared on X. Craig Zisk, director and executive producer of Tulsa King, refuted Stallone's remarks in an interview with TMZ on Tuesday, April 9. He further asserted that Stallone's wife, Jennifer Flavin, was present and that the actor never mentioned his desire for attractive young women on site. Zisk further claimed to the publication that the casting agency was refusing to provide headshots of background actors prior to filming and was miscasting extras or individuals who were older than the desired age range. Zisk claims that the casting firm resigned. In a statement released on Sunday, April 7, the Catchetlock casting firm disclosed that they had broken up with Tulsa King. We would want to provide you with an update regarding our casting world. The Post stated, we have decided to split ways with Tulsa King. Next week, we'll be wrapping up, and the 12th will be our last day. Whoever takes over the show has our best wishes. We appreciate your ongoing support, wonderful backdrop artists. The actors' organization, sag -FTRA, appeared to address the charges in a statement released on Wednesday, April 10, following the news of the allegations making headlines. A union representative told The Hollywood Reporter, there is no room on any set for disparaging comments to background actors or any performers. sag -FTRA is committed to the safety and well-being of cast members on all productions, even though we have not been contacted directly about the incident on the set of Tulsa King in Atlanta. Tulsa King's second season's filming got underway earlier this month. In the show, which debuted on Paramount Plus in November 2022, Stallone plays mobster Dwight, the general, Manfredi, who was sent to Oklahoma by the head of his criminal family after being freed from prison. Starring with him are Vincent Piazza, Dominic Lombardozzi, Andrea Savage, and Garrett Hedlund. Sarah Jones provided the reporting.